Hallelujah, praise God. So it all depends with our with our, our mindset, what we see, what we hear. The way the way we interpret it depends on our mind, our mindset, and the way we react. We react to what we have seen or what we have heard. It will all also depend on our on our mindset. Praise God. Yes. That is why uh, there were people who brought a good report and others brought a bad a bad report, depending on what they interpreted in their in their minds. Even the word of God, when we hear the word, when we read and hear the word of God, eh, we interpret it differently. Praise God, and we act we we act upon it differently, mm. depending on our on our mindset. Praise God. Mm. Like even in even even sickness, you know? do you know do you know the devil the devil brings sickness in this way? He first brings a feeling of a kind, a feeling of a kind. But the way you will interpret that feeling is what will will determine whether you'll be sick or, or you will not. not be sick. Sure. Praise God. Sure. The way you interpret that that feeling, when he wants when he wants to control you. He will bring he will bring a certain uh, a kind of maybe like fear or a uh, a kind of a feeling and all that and the way you will receive it and interpret it will depend on whether he will win you or you will you will you will overcome him whether he will overcome you or you will overcome him praise God amen that is why the uh, the prophet is telling us here through the word of God that we need to have the right mindset and the right mindset the, is the kingdom mindset praise god mm. and uh, when you uh, uh, oh we can read romans 12 yes first of all uh, there's a, a, a paragraph here he says as powerful as god is he is powerless in the face of a wrong mindset that is why after a person has become born again, there is a need to renew one's mind. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Welcome, mom. Amen. Hi. Shalom. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. 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 <laughs> that is, uh, we are reading the Jesus Nation book. Chapter right. three, a bit of chapter three. Okay, okay. So we're saying here, as powerful as God is, he's powerless in the face of a wrong mindset. That is why after a person has become uh, has become born again, there is a need to renew one's mind. The book of Romans 12, 1 is the most popular scripture that deals with the renewal of the mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. When I was, uh, I was reading here, uh, God was reminding me also about the, uh, we have in 2 Kings chapter 7, we read about the, the, the four lepers. Praise God. The four Amen. lepers who are at the gate of Samaria. Hallelujah. Amen. These, Amen. Four lepers, these four lepers, it is their mind. It is their mindset that helped them out of the problem they were in. Praise God. Because they, they stood at the gate and they, they thought, huh? Yeah, when we stay here, when we go into Samaria, we are going to die. The, the, we may fall into the hands of the, uh, uh, of, the, uh, of the Syrians and we might die, die. And when we stay here also, because there is hunger, we will also die. die. So they reasoned, in the, they reasoned and said, no, we better go because it is not helping us staying there. We better go and then uh, perhaps I don't know whether they thought perhaps maybe we may be saved. I don't know. But it was a result of what they thought. They thought, they thought, uh, uh, they thought even if we stay here, we shall die. Even if we go, we shall die. And that mindset is what helped them out of that problem. Praise God. Amen. Also, when you, you remember about the, the woman with the issue of blood, this woman, uh, she had she had this issue for 12 good years. She had gone to all the doctors and all that, but she, she thought of one thing that time when she saw Jesus. She thought of it this way. If she, if she could have relied on her mind, 
that I have been this sickness for 12 good years. Mm. I have done all I can. Mm. I have invested so much on this. I don't have a solution. If she could have real uh, 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 um, stop with there at her support situation the way it is, he couldn't have been, she couldn't have been healed. But she got again, it came uh, uh, to her mind. Eh? And she said, but eh, even if they are, uh, maybe this guy, this guy, Jesus now, he's healing people, hmm? he's doing miracles. Maybe if I can touch, if I can try and touch the hem of his garment, maybe I can be healed. I can be healed. And that mindset, uh, because she, she thought something else above what she has been thinking, above what has been in her mind, that is what saved her. She took a step and said, I will touch it. I will just pretend that I am. Uh, yani people are, people are, uh, yani they are what? Wanaskumana, what wanaskumana? <laughs> Praise God. I'll mm -hmm. take advantage of them, the, way, the, the, the multitude and all that. The way people are many and all that. And I will do what I want to do. Praise God. Amen. If she had not changed her mind or, or thought uh, otherwise, she wouldn't have received her miracle. Praise God. And that is what the uh, the prophet is saying here: developing, developing the right mindset. Praise God. Amen. Uh, we read that uh, Romans twelve that says about we 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 renew our minds. We be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Somebody can read for us Romans twelve verse one and two. Okay, I'm there. I'll read in the yes. Amplified. It says, mm -hmm. uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, dedicating all of yourselves set apart as a living sacrifice, holy and, and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational, logical, intelligent act of worship. Verse 2, and do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes, so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, which is that good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purposes for you. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. The word of God is telling us that we cannot know the will of God. We cannot prove the, the perfect will, the good and perfect will of God if our minds are not renewed. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Amen. our our minds, uh, uh, you know, when we uh, you know we were not born we were not born born again. Praise God. Amen. We were in the world before yes. we knew Christ, and our minds were full of all worldly rubbish. Praise God. Amen. That is why, <laughs> that is why Paul is, is telling us here that we must be, now that we are, we are Christ, now that we are born again, mm. now that we belong to a different kingdom, we must be renewed in our, in our minds. Praise God. Amen. We Amen. must Amen. stop thinking the way we were thinking when we were not born again. Praise God. If we were thinking Amen. failure, if we were thinking defeat, if we were we were we were thinking other other rubbish, we must be renewed. That must come out of our minds, and we be filled with with the kingdom staff. Praise God. Amen. Uh, and, the, uh, and this kingdom staff is the word of God. It is Amen. only the word of God that can be able to to renew our minds. Hmm? Mm. Uh, but, uh, oh. Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Praise God. When we, 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 uh, it is only the word of God that can renew our, our minds. Even as uh, uh, the word says in John 8 from verse 31, uh, that if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Mm. Praise God. This this being renewed in our minds is it is the making. Of, uh, it is 
it is the 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 being made free praise god we Amen. are being made free from from our past thoughts from our past attitudes from our past praise god mm. and we are renewed and transformed into into the image of christ mm? into mm. The, the 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 kingdom now mm. that we are in praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. so Amen. we must be this is not an it is not a, so is, if you hear paul saying here he's even saying i beseech you by the masses of God, praise God, mm. because it is a it is a must. We must be renewed. If we have to think, if we have to accept, like uh, uh, like now, when you, when uh, you know when you are you are thinking about healing, maybe you are praying God, uh, you are praying to God for for healing. Mm? Uh, our minds are, are the battlefield of the devil. Praise God. Wow. You are thinking about. The prophet, maybe even even it is somebody who prayed for me. The prophet prayed for me. <clears throat> the devil tells you, but you are still feeling. He makes you feel what you, you are. You have that feeling. You are still feeling the pain. You are still uh, feeling the same way you are feeling. But uh, but if we are renewed in our minds, we will overlook the feelings that we are feeling. Praise God mm-hmm. and Amen. Uh, and get into the into the faith, believing that. I was prayed for. I am healed. It doesn't matter how I'm feeling. Praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, when the word says in, uh, I think it is in Ephesians that says that we must have the mind. Let it this be. They, let this mind be in you. Philippians. Philippians two. Philippians two. Actually, Philippians I, two. it's Philippians. Yeah, Philippians yeah. Two. Let this mind Philippians. be in you. Mm-hmm. That was was with Jesus Christ. That even though he was he was uh, he was what. Can you read it for us? Yes, let me let me just find it. Philippians. Even if he was God, he humbled himself. Hmm? He became he, he though he was rich, he became poor for us. Praise God. Mm. This developing the right mindset, it is developing the mind of Christ. Praise God. The victorious mm-hmm. mind, the the mind that does not know defeat, the faithful mind, the mind that is full of faith. Faith. It doesn't matter what I am feeling. I know God. I know God is. Praise God. It doesn't mm. matter if I am in financial challenges now. I know that I'm going to come out of it. Praise God. It doesn't matter I am sick now. I know I'm a candidate for healing. Praise God. And so with, with, that, with that right mindset, we, we cannot stay there and, and mama or complain like, like the children of Israel did. Hmm? As you were mm. reading. You got it. I got it. I got it. I'll read yeah. from the NIV, Philippians chapter 2, mm-hmm. verse 5. It says, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being a man in nature God, did not yes. consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, Amen. he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made mm-hmm. in human likeness. When being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient even unto death and death Mm -hmm. on the cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every other name. That is the name of Jesus. Uh, It's okay. Every knee. I just started the verse and I decided I I now need to use it to make me weak. (laughs) And (laughs) under the earth. Hallelujah. Oh, oh hallelujah. Praise put, God. Put for you. The issues of pride, the issues of murmurings, the issues of, of, of uh, complaining, all these issues, it is as a result of a wrong, wrong mindset. But when we develop the right mindset, the kingdom mindset, hmm, we, we will be able to. To, to deal with those things. Hallelujah. Amen. To the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before I continue, I would like uh, each and every one of us, somebody to just uh, say something about what you, un- you understand about this, this issue of mindset, developing the right mindset. Hmm? As, you, wow. as you are reading the, the, or as you have always 
read the word of God and the way you are, uh, the God is revealing it to you. What do you understand by this? Uh, developing the right mindset. Hallelujah. Let us share, and I believe we are going to explore it, and it is going to help us so much. Yes, Before maybe me. I can share. I can share. I can share what I'm. I'm getting because um, you know we 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 yeah. we we even when you were sharing, I just went to that verse. Before you even said, let this you know this verse for Philippians. Let this mind be in you. You know, let this mind be in mm. you which was also in Christ Jesus, you know? Yeah. So, you know, my favorite verse in the Bible actually is 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30, which says, 1 Corinthians 1 verse, verse 30, uh, it, it's, it's my favorite verse in the Bible because it actually confirms what you're saying and it gives me a positive affirmation to know that actually I already have this mindset. It's only that, Maybe my old mindset is, is affecting me. It says, it is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus who has become for us wisdom from God. Wow. Christ has become to us wisdom. So meaning, when the Bible says, let this mind be in you, it is already in us because Christ mm -hmm. has become our wisdom. So what I'm getting from what you're sharing is that this, this, this and even from the, the book, how... Papa put it, he said, he, he actually put it and said, let put on, put on the right mindset. Let Yeni, you have to put it on. You have to be conscious that you have it already and walk mm -hmm. in it, you know? So it's amazing. I love this topic. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Come on, somebody. Terry, are you there? <laughs> oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm yeah, just yeah. Terry is there. I can see Sarah. We are many. We can explore this topic and it will help us so much. Oh. I'm just marveling that today's devotional was talking oh. about the same thing. Wow. Oh, it was um, talking it, about the same thing. <laughs> yes. In fact, wow, as, we, as we were this. beginning, I kind of just like went over it as you were like going through the book and waiting to get into the whatever. And I was, I, I just stopped there. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Mm -hmm. And then when he says he did away with his divine privileges, it says he died a criminal's death. It's not just a normal death, a criminal's death. And I found that really like that is the basest, you know, it is just not a human being, but the basest human being, you know. Yeah. So that, that was my thought. And even like, in the beginning when you were talking about the faith of Joshua and Caleb, it is, it is those believing seem to be jumping out, you know, like he was believed, you know? Amen. I found, I found that powerful that in, it, for you to actually change your mindset, you must first be convicted mm -hmm. of the truth of the word that has been spoken to you. Amen. Mm. Wow. Wow. Very right. The word, the word. It's still taking us to the word. It is the word that can change our mindset. Mom. Yes. <laughs> Shalom. Hey, well, the, 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 Shalom. This, is so, this is so powerful. Um, very, very powerful because you see, the mind is the beginning of everything. What are you feeding your mind with? Mm -hmm. Are you feeding your mind with the things of the word, the word of God? Do you understand the knowledge of truth? Because what is in your mind? Are you feeding the word? Are you feeding your mind with the word? Because that is the source of your strength. Your strength is the knowledge and when you have that knowledge, now your mind will be set, aligned to the things that we, we've heard. And you remember, if you feed your mind with the things of Christ, it's obvious that um, you become what Christ was or is and to come. And if you feed yourself 
your mind with the things of the world or you mix them up, then it becomes a clutter. Then you don't see how your success becomes. So the emphasis, I like this part uh, in, in, in page 110 of uh, paragraph three, I mean, chapter three, is a small passion that says, here we will find that every child of God is being called upon to renew their mind in order to prove that which is good and acceptable to the perfect will. In, in other words, without renewing your mind, a person will fight and resist the will and the purpose of God. So there's always, the, we have, there are two laws in us warring against each other. So mm -hmm. are you allowing your mind to war against the law of Christ? Are you allowing yourself to be overtaken by the mindset of the system? So our mind must be heavily protected with the word. If your mind is heavily protected with the word, then always your thinking ability, the wisdom, the true wisdom, that Jesus, imagine, why did he have to come in a human form? It was not a human form. And I like what Sister Terry said, he had to come and die on the cross like a criminal mm -hmm. because it is a perfect example because we needed to see a human being the way he was dragged around on the streets, the way he lived a normal life of a human being a human being with two legs so that we understand that his mind was fixed to the will of his father and we need to adopt to his mindset we need to know that our mind must choose one that's why the book of matthew 6 33 says first the kingdom and its righteousness and all these other things will be added if you can understand the concept around all this, then you will know that I, I, my mind will not war against the things of the world at the same time, things of God. Um, and the, 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 the small program that says, but the task ahead is challenging and huge. God warned Moses and the children of Israel of the task that lay ahead of them. So, we are human beings, even Moses, who had to deliver the chosen nation. God had to warn him that there's so many challenges, a huge challenge ahead of them. So we today are the descendants. We've, we've been born into that by the one that gave his life. We understand how we only want to treasure the mind and tune the mind to the mindset of Christ, to the mind that we read from the word. And if we saturate our minds, then anything else under this sun cannot overtake us. We become the wisest, we prosper in our businesses. We, as you see, the, 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 the last paragraph that, that talks about when the Lord thy God shall bring you Moses was given the promise and he was warned that as he goes, but the end result, he, the, he's going to face the, the Gypsites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hevites, Gypsites, all the seven. We are falling under the Canaanites. So even in our walk of life, we, two days ago, we we're talking about the takeover, how we've been taken over by these others, you know, so it becomes an easy thing because Moses, they managed. We are human beings. If our mindset is right, we will live to fulfill our calling. Mm -hmm. And our calling is as a kingdom finances to fund the Jesus nation. It shouldn't be a problem, but mindset is a paramount. It's, per, it's a paramount. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen. Glory amen. to Jesus. Praise God. Thank you.
Thank a you. person will fight and resist. At a, in other words, without renewing our minds, a person will fight and resist the will and purposes of God. You'll just fight yourself. When, when you see somebody fighting the, the will of God or the purposes of God, the problem is just here, the mindset. It's nowhere else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our, their minds have not been. When we find ourselves, we are going contrary to the will of God. The problem is just here. We, our minds have not yet been renewed. We still have the old mindset. Hallelujah. We still have, like, like even in uh, uh, like now, uh, if we are not going, uh, like now, when we are in a, pro, in a prophetic church, we, we, we grew in pastoral churches, eh? uh, apostolic churches and all that. But now we are in a prophetic church. You know, if we are not careful, if we are not renewed in our minds, we will find, most people find themselves, they are not moving. They are not flowing into the grace and they go back to where they came from. Why? Because their minds have not been renewed prophetically. Praise the Lord to catch up or to, 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 to move. To move in the prophetic grace, you find it difficult. Praise the Lord, because Amen. when you we have come, maybe we have come into the prophetic grace with the mindset that we had, where we were. Maybe we were in a certain religion and all that. So when we come, when we come to 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 Christ, to the Jesus nation, we we must be renewed in our minds so that we don't we don't think as we were. We were thinking before. In religion, in religion, we did not know miracles. Praise God. When we Amen. come to the, when we are in the Jesus nation, we are seeing miracles. But because the mindset have not been renewed, you still, we still can't receive the miracles. We still can't take them. We still cannot experience them. Why? Because of the, of the mindset. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, when you are, you, you, as the, Papa is referring here to the story of the children of Israel, why were they complaining? Why were they remembering? Why were they remembering the watermelons, the onions that they were eating in Egypt? Why were they remembering them? It's because their mind was still in Egypt. Physically, God had, had tried to bring them out of Egypt, but their minds were still where? Their minds were still in Egypt. They were not yet renewed. Praise God. And that is what happens even to us. We are, we are born again, but because our minds, uh, we have not continued in the word of God. We are not uh, reading the, the word of God. We don't have, the truth has not gotten into us to remove the old, the old stuff. We still think as we were thinking when we didn't see the light. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the house. Hello? Yes, yes, I'm listening. Say something. Okay, all right. So thank you for such a beautiful, beautiful uh, explanation of the developing of the mindset from the book. And uh, everyone who has shared on that has really touched on uh, why we need to renew our mindset. And uh, for me, it is something that I do it or ask God for grace to keep on helping me. Since I know from the word of God, it talks about, you know, putting on the mind of Christ. And uh, when I was reading that, uh, um, book, I remember that chapter you're, we are discussing today since I had the opportunity to review the book. I really wrote notes on this chapter because it's something that I've struggled with in my life a lot. So today's topic is very relevant for me and personal. So uh, yeah, it's something that I've come to realize since I have been born again, recreated, you know, my, my person is created in the image of Christ. So meaning uh, I need to think like the way Christ thinks as David was talking about the uh, first Corinthians 130. We've been given his wisdom. We are now his wisdom. So also in my own way, I keep uh, saying the word from, uh, I think it's in Colossians 3 verse 2 that says setting your things on your mind on things that are above and not things that are beneath. And for me that when I say that in my head, a lot of the times in my process of renewing, my mind through reading of the word is that I have to think as the way God is thinking of me. That's why it's telling me to always, you know, think on things that are above. If you're thinking of things that are above, meaning it's from the 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 
uh, the level of Christ, where he's seated, you know, and we are seated with him in the heavenly places. So I need, as I continue to read the word, of course, uh, learning and listening, praying, uh, using the word of God, then I know that I'm growing in, of course, confessing the word of God, even in the, when situations are tough. So that is my, my understanding of renewing, and it's an ongoing journey which God gives us the grace to continue doing it if he sees that you're working on it and, uh, you know, calling yourself as he calls you. Yeah. So that's my contribution. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I like that yeah. point. It is a, 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 a continued journey. Praise God. Amen. It, uh, it is a continuing journey, just as the word says in John 8. Uh, if you continue in my word, if you continue, continue. Mm. Alaf, uh, then are you my disciples indeed, and we shall know the truth, and the truth mm. shall set you free. Also, when Romans 10 talks about faith, we, Paul is saying here, faith comes by hearing and hearing, not hearing once, praise God. That is how the continuity comes in. I like that point. It is a continuing journey so we must continue continue in the truth we must continue reading the word of god we must continue seeking the lord praise god until Amen. we reach our destiny until you know you know after our minds are renewed completely that is when we say we can say that we have reached our our destiny praise god hallelujah, hallelujah. uh somebody else uh who else is here Somebody else who has not said something, please. We we need your we need your input in this. We need your revelation. We need your what God has revealed to you or has ministered to you concerning this. Is there anybody else? Sister Sarah, Sister Sarah Andrea. Sarah. Yes, my daughter Sarah. Can you hear us? She can't hear. Yeah, probably. Maybe something is okay because of time. Maybe you can look at. Um, well, um, Papa is talking about the types of the types of mindset. He's talking about the grasshopper mindset. Praise God. Mm. We have read that story. We have read many times the story of the 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 spying or the 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 spies who went to spy the land. Praise God. The grasshopper mindset is that one. The, the those those the the other spies apart from Joshua and Caleb came with uh, the ones they, they were saying that we are like grasshoppers. The people we saw the people of that land, they are giants. We are like grasshoppers before them. Praise God. And wow. um, we are, uh huh. And then the other, the other one, is the mindset of slavery. The slavery mindset. Praise God. The slavery mindset occurs when a person gets accustomed to his present situation. Praise God. Ah, that one, my, my sickness, my weakness. Eh? <laughs> Praise God. Wow. <laughs> Being a, it comes when we are accustomed to our what? To our present situation. You have stayed in that situation for so long until it has become part of us. Praise God. Or, mm. uh, uh, or any, uh, I think, I think I'm saying it right. Until it has um, yes. become like part of us. Praise yes. God. Yes, like the. You like see the... that. In, like the blind, like the man, the man who was known by his issue, they said blind Bartimaeus, he was called by his issue. So his issue had become uh -huh. his issue. Ah, yeah. If, 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 uh, if the word of God says about uh, being rich, eh? let, the, let the poor say, I am rich. Praise mm -hmm. God. You say, I <laughs> you mind the devil tells you, rich, eh? you don't have you don't have even a job, eh? you don't have even this, you don't have this, you don't have this, praise mm. God. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Amen. Because of time, we are not going to brainstorm so much on that. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now, when it uh, when Papa is talking here about the slavery mindset, he's saying every slave master will ensure total dependence on the master and uh, on the master and undermine any sense of confidence in the slaves. Praise God. Every Amen. slave master. There's a I don't remember it is in which. Uh, it, it is in Romans or Hebrews that says that whatsoever lords you sub uh, you submit yourselves to, you become their slaves. Mm. <laughs> Praise God. Mm. If we sub if we subject, if we submit to a wrong mindset, we are enslaved. Praise God. You you will never like the children of Israel. They were they were they were they were. They were so they were so obsessed uh, with the wrong mindset until they could not see anything good. Praise God! The man of God Moses is saying this. God is saying this, and then they are just thinking, "What is what is what is in their minds? The wrong mindset." Praise God! Because they were already enslaved, enslaved. Amen. Amen. They were already enslaved by their thoughts. That is why they could. Uh, think of we better go back to Egypt we get a, we better go back to where we come for even if it means dying there they are they do you, do you do you mean there were no there were no uh, there were no graves there where we could be buried that is why we are taking us out and bring us here in in the wilderness they could not see the the good plan God had through even this wilderness, praise the Lord. Because God was saying, I brought you, I, I was uh, taking you through the wilderness to, so that I can prove you, praise God. And see if, if you get to the land that is flowing with milk and honey, whether you still obey me, whether you still do what? Be my people, praise God. They could not see that. And that is what, uh, that is what could have changed their, their mindset, that truth of that I'm getting through this, uh, just like we. Sometimes when, when we are in, in problems, we don't see God. We see the devil. We don't see the will of God. We see it is the devil fighting us. It is what, instead of us seeing, having the right mindset of God is getting me, uh, uh, making me pass through this because of the, 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 uh, the, greater, the greater thing he has for me, ahead. Praise, praise the Lord. As the word Amen. says, the glory of this moment cannot be compared with the glory that shall be, shall be revealed. Praise God. Mom, you want to say something? Amen. Yeah, I just wanted to, 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 to add uh, or emphasize exactly what you're saying, because two days, three days ago, we were discussing about why we are left behind. And we have, this is a, a vivid, vivid example uh, uh, from the Israelites um, when they were in Egypt under slavery uh, because of they believe that their, their bosses, their masters uh, are, are the most superior people. Their mindset are already tuned and set to, to be their slaves. They have no confidence in them. They believe in being slaves. They believe uh, there's nothing more than what they are getting. And because of that mindset, even as uh, Moses was telling them things, they cannot see, it. they cannot imagine because already uh, their minds are set. So it's very, very important that our mindset need to be set on the right thing. We today believe we cannot become rich see oh because i don't have capital we will try and find every excuse we may think of to cover us to be in the poverty we cannot make advancement we cannot even approach each other and say can we do this together two people three people putting heads together to become successful because we have the same mind i mean color we have no faith towards one another. And if it happened for whatever reason, someone would decide to become 
um, a Judas or will steal or would do something and then now it has affected. Black people cannot come together and do business. So because of the mindset, because of the things we, we've done to each other or on a, one or, uh, uh, on each other, so it becomes very difficult to trust. Trust is no longer there. Confidence is completely out. So our mindset absolutely needs to be renewed. Otherwise, we will be slaves because we believe these other colors or the Indians or the white people are the most superior or they are meant to be like that. It is not supposed to be the case. And this is what Papa is saying. It is not supposed to be the case. If we did, we've already fixed our minds to one thing. And that thing is the one that causing us to be stagnated in anything we do. So our mindset is a tool. Our mindset is the beginning of every success. You know, Hallelujah. And I like, I like what you're saying, Mam Phoebe. And uh, maybe I can just mention, if you look at um, page 111 uh, of the Jesus Nation, uh, the prophet actually explains it, what you're trying to say in terms of um, uh, your perception in, uh, because of uh, uh, slavery mindset. He says, mm -hmm. Satan had 430 years to entrench himself in Canaan by raising and fortifying these seven nations that even God himself told Moses that these nations are greater and mightier than the people of God. So mm -hmm. like, like, you know, the, the people who we see as the Canaanites, you know, who are in the financial systems of the world, you know, the, the ones who are funding everything that is antichrist, you know, they have so much entrenched themselves. They're so strong that mm -hmm. even God tells us, like, we have to renew our minds. We have to think the way the mm -hmm. Israelites were forced to think that, mm -hmm. you know, it is God who is helping us, not even our own ability, because these people are too strong for us. They are too strong, mm. you see. So yes. what God is asking us is the same thing he asked the Israelites. I know you mm -hmm. can't defeat them. I know they are too strong for you, but mm -hmm. renew your mind and know that it is me who will fight for you. All you yes. need Amen. to do is, is trust me and relax. Mm -hmm. You know, don't mm -hmm. complain. And have confidence. It's true. Exactly. Because you see, even, even the, 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 the uh, um, page 117, he says that uh, if you read the, the second paragraph, he said, there are 10 specific instances of murmuring by the children mm -hmm. of Israel recorded in the mm -hmm. books of Exodus and Numbers. Half the complaints were for food and water. They, three of, were because of jealousy and the other two mm -hmm. were prompted by bitterness and cowardice. This is how often <laughs> they murmured. <laughs> yani, he said, I think the only language they knew was to mama. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So God yeah, was jealous. knowing, God was knowing these guys, the only challenge is their mindset, is their, how they talk, mm -hmm. how they think. Mm -hmm. Because I'm ready to fight for them. You know, they had seen God, you know, destroying, uh, parting the sea. Already they had seen God fighting for them. But they were struggling with seeing that 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 these small issues, you know, small, small issues, you know. So it's amazing. This topic is amazing. Papa says here uh, in, in, in page 118, what a tragedy. God <laughs> used signs and wonders to bring the exactly. children of Israel out of Egypt. But those signs and wonders could not bring Egypt out of the children of Israel. That's it. And <laughs> the children of Israel refused to renew their minds. They died in the wilderness. Wow. God could not tolerate transferring Egypt from Africa to Canaan. Slavery mindset reduces a person to only think about food and welfare. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to eat? What am I going Imagine. To what about me? We what call am, it I, am I going to benefit from this? Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. This is and the other mindset Making Mindset. Making excuses, making excuses, making excuses, faulty yeah. excuses. Uh -huh. And the, the, the more excuses, they, it keeps them away from advancing to, to their potential. And that's what is happening with us. 
We always give ourselves, we make up excuses, uh, you know, and we cannot make any progress. Whether it is spiritually and the mind is stagnated from this to that, we cannot allow the mind to be aligned mm -hmm. to, the, to, to the best. The dog mindset, the thinking that one is undeserving, like you were saying, mom. Yeah, surely mm -hmm. me. Can I, can I be rich? Can I, can I be healed? Can I do this? Can I do this? That is the, the dog mind mindset. Now, yeah, the mindset looks down upon oneself. This mindset looks down upon oneself to the extent of self disqualification. <laughs> like you say, eh, you, you can get somebody to become a, a kingdom financier. No, oh, that one is for the rich. <laughs> they don't have money. <laughs> or you can be, you, you can be a, a preacher or you can be a, a, a pastor or this. No, that one is for Akinas. Me, I'm, I don't deserve. I'm not qualified. You see? Just uh, excuse it. You disqualify yourself uh -huh. religiously. Yes. Yes. Now that uh, Papa is uh, finally in the in in page one twenty two, if you read through page one twenty five, he's telling us about how we can deal with this uh, with our how we can develop the right mindset, the stages, putting off putting off the old man out of your mind as you were as you were saying, and then you put. You put on, you put off the old man. You be renewed. We be renewed in our minds, and then put on the new, the new man. And then the fourth one is the well able mindset. That is the mindset that Joshua and Caleb had. Yes, we we have seen. Uh, I believe if there were giants, you know, you can you can see a problem. Uh, as I was saying in the beginning, uh, I can see a problem and somebody else sees it but the way we are going to interpret it depends on our mindset praise god mm. there's the well able mindset that is the mindset that was with caleb uh, caleb and joshua that even if they are they are they are the canaanites the the Kushites and all that in the land of canaan they they knew according to the word of god that you shall you shall not be strong and take a you you will not fight this battle. It is me fighting for you, because they mm -hmm. had that word and the word had removed their minds. That is where they got the, the courage that we are well able to take that land. We are well able to possess that land, land regardless of our our weakness or whatever. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I think we can we can we can finish by reading page one. Let us read page one twenty seven. Uh, the last paragraph. Uh, it says, "Our labor mindset does not compare the self against the task at hand." The ten spies who brought a naval report concerning the land compared their natural strength against that of the An Anakines and the other bigger tribes of Canaan. Are we hearing that? Mm -hmm. On the contrary, Joshua and Caleb looked up to the supernatural strength of God and declared boldly that if God is pleased with them, they would defeat the giants. Mm. This statement is very because we may need to ask now, what is the one thing that pleases God? Faith, Amen. right? Mm. Faith. The one thing that pleases God is faith. As we read in the book of Hebrews eleven six, that without faith, it is impossible to please him. That is God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So what pleases God is what? The one thing that pleases God is faith. Amen. Even as the, uh, as the word of God says in First John, I think it is First John 5, 4, that whatever that is born of God 
overcomes the world. And mm -hmm. this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even yes. our, our faith. faith, God, even our faith. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we can conclude that mm, the valuable mindset has set a truth that God is on their side mm -hmm. and that he is capable of defeating their enemies on their be behalf. God is on our side and we are capable of financing the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mindset, uh, therefore, is one that is full of the word of God and knows as a settled truth that God means what he says and says yeah. what he means. Apostle Paul writing to the Philippian church made a very critical statement. He said, I can do all things through Christ, which is strengthens me. Mm -hmm. This is the mindset that God wants us to have in order to do heroic acts for the establishment of the Jesus nation. Anyone who had this mindset did heroic, mind-blowing actions that led to the defeat of the enemies of God and the establishment of God's will. The list is endless. David took down Goliath, Joshua took down Jericho, mm -hmm. and the entire land of Canaan for the children yes. of Israel. Caleb, at the That's age it. of 85, took That's down it. Hebron, the most That's fortified stronghold of, of the Anakines. What are you being uh, inspired daughter is getting married. in order for God to use you as our yes. God is well able? Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> The right mindset is faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith Amen. Is God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mom Phoebe, Phoebe, I hope you're not ordering leeks and onions. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm telling you, we have to be very careful. Eh? <laughs> Glory. We need to Hallelujah. know how to 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 to, to ensure to align our mindsets. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Mm. Hallelujah! Wow! The oh. right mindset is the mindset is the mind of faith. Hallelujah! Wow. Amen. The Amen. mind of faith, and that is the mind that pleases God. The mind that. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens Strength me. Sense. It doesn't matter how weak I am, where I am. Praise the Lord. That's my favorite scripture. Like with the kingdom financiers, we, we might see ourselves, we are starting small, we are, we are where we are. Praise God. We can be where Papa usually uh, wants us to be. Praise God. Hmm? That, you, you see that one the way uh, as he was say, saying in the previous meeting. Hmm? I'm still, I'm still wondering, my, if I can only get five sons, no, no. I can only get five sons. Hey, praise God! Hallelujah! Two sons. Two sons. Hmm? At the, I'm praying God. He was saying that I'm praying to God that if I can only get two, three sons, eh, that can stand and say that when we want to do something, it is me. It is me. Use me. Lord, I'm here. Use me. Praise God. And that is the mindset of faith. Praise God. Wow. It is Amen. the mind, uh, mindset of faith that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It is, all about, it is not about my strength. It is not about what I have. Praise God. It is about okay. what God can oh help me achieve. It is about what God can help me uh, uh, achieve. Yes. Yes. Somebody a different <laughs> continue, Hello. continue continue i was saying if, if there's somebody who can add something as we wind up we have come to the end of that chapter we have gone through at least wow wow so and the conclusion is the, the mindset that, uh, that, uh, that God wants, the right mindset, is that mindset that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things. Yani, with God, all things are possible.
possible. Hallelujah. Faith, faith. Mm? God is my rock. God is my shield. Mm? Yani, mm, with God, all things are possible. Mm. Hallelujah. This is this has to be the most powerful one of the most powerful prayers prayers we've done this week or since we started. Mm. This is really thank you thank you so much sister and this is an amazing mm -hmm. project. So I think I uh, if there's uh, no more suggestions I can leave it at that maybe we can we can pray a uh, prayer and tell God to help us. Hey, praise God. Amen. In the area, Amen. in the area of, you know, Amen. it is of it, it. As we have, we have seen uh, the word of God is the center of it all. Praise God. Amen. We need to eat, to eat, to eat, to eat, to chew, to swallow the word of God. Amen. Like nothing else. Amen. So that is what is going to transform us in all that. Uh, uh, one minute we just tell God thank you for tonight's session and we tell God thank you for all that he, he has taught us tonight all that he has revealed to us and we ask him to help us praise God even as we continue to uh, with our with our sessions hallelujah yeah. Amen. somebody speak to God Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. Thank you, Thank you for the book of the Jesus nation. Thank you for your prophet who has given us this revelation of kingdom let this mind be in us, O God. The mind of faith, the mind of faith, the mind of knowing that we can do all things. Through Christ to strengthen us, we are able, we are well able to take the mountain of the canon. We are well able to climb any mountain of finances. In the name of Jesus, that Lord we can defeat any giant in the name of Jesus for our sufficiency is not of our own our sufficiency is of our own thank you Lord because you are with us we are taking over the mountain of finances in the name of Jesus for we can do all things in the name of Jesus, man, the Kereko Satana Kahadosh, the Kianis Kahazon Dorodosh Ataya. Every limitation, every barrier is broken. In the name of Jesus, man, the Kadosh Ataya, the Korades Kahaze, the Rabasho Dorodosh Ataya. Thank you, Lord, for we can do things. Life is never the same again, Lord. Let this mind be in us, O God. Let this mind be in us, O God. Let every thought be taken captive in the name of Jesus. Back to you, David. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Thank you so much, sister. And this is amazing. This is amazing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mom, I see you want to talk. You can unmute yourself kindly. Speak to us. Thank you. Glory. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. I don't know what happened to my connection. I will, I, I hope everyone has prayed for the crossover. I hope everyone has prayed for our spiritual parents. I hope we have prayed for the altar of our father. Mm -hmm. And then I hope we have prayed for ourselves and we say, amen, amen. And I have a surprise, surprise. Uh, probably David, you're the one who, who, who knows. I told you 
I had a woman of God, I'm um, still hosting her. She's gonna bless us Amen. with the last prayer for tonight. Glory. Wow. Good. <laughs> we thank God. She will introduce herself and she will conclude the prayer, the benediction prayer. Hallelujah. Shalom. 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 Good evening. Shalom, 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 everyone. I am Prophetess Dr. Chikondi. Yes, hello. I'm Prophetess hello. Dr. Chikondi Pokota. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Yes. Yes, you can hear hello. us. Okay. Yes. So, so I was saying I'm Prophetess Dr. Chikondi Pokosa. And I'm in Malawi here, um, uh, a guest in uh, Phoebe's house here in Malawi. Amen. I'm actually, I'm, I'm normally based in the United Kingdom wow. in Oxford. Wow. And I'm here for the meantime. So we thank God. Amen. And we thank God for a wonderful time that we've had. And we just want to say thank you, Jesus, yes. because he says, whatever we decree, Amen. it shall be established. Amen. 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 Whatever we decree and it shall be established and it shall shine on our path. So we, we, we are trusting God that whatever we decreed, this evening, it Amen. is a decree. Once it is decreed, nobody can overturn it. Yes. So right. whatever we have declared tonight, yes. it is decreed and it is established here on earth and in heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. And we are also trusting God because he says, call upon the name of the Lord and you shall never be put to shame. Amen. You have been calling on the name of Jesus. Yes. You can never be put to shame. Yes. All that call upon the name of Jesus, Jesus. are saved. Amen. You will be saved from Amen. whatever has been tormenting, troubling yes. you because Amen. you have been calling on the name of Jesus. Amen. What Amen. it means when you are praying, you are trusting God, Amen. is that God becomes your friend, God's comes and works with you. We yes. are praying that the destiny helpers that have been set aside for the crossover, for your families, for your Amen. ministries, Amen. for your own spiritual Amen. life, yes, we Lord, be Lord. we locate you and we be yes. able to manifest in your life in, in the, the mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And we trust that Yes, we trust that every breakthrough that has been hanging in the air there will be released tonight Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We Amen. pray that it shall be established, it shall be made faithful, yes. and it shall be uh, well with everyone. According to Luke chapter 1, verse 45, yes, uh, for blessed are they that have believed, for there shall be a performance of the word that they have, that they have believed. Yeah. We are praying tonight Amen. that there shall be a performance. There shall be Amen. a performance of yes. the word you have Amen. believed Amen. or you have received Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. And we are praying the heavenly host will yes. accompany each one of us yes. Yes, from Amen. now until Amen. we cross Amen. over yes. to 2022 Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are praying that there will be none among you that will be lacking in yes. the mighty name of Jesus, because he is a God that brings overflowing abundance yes. in your life, yes. in your spiritual life, yes. in your business, yes. in whatever you do in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you honor. Oh, 
For this and the health, and the stay is growing for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God, for the children of God here in, 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 in Nairobi, in, yes, in Kenya, they shall manifest in the mighty name of the mighty name of And Father, we pray, leave you will set their foot upon the rock. Yes, they will. You will set their foot up, upon the rock. Yes, Lord Jehovah, you are the Lord that hears us. You say, call upon me. I shall hear you. Makerimo zetele lebosia. Hear everyone over there. Hear our prayers for us. we call you Abba Father, because we know you are Jehovah. You will never fail. You are not man that you should fail. Neither you are some of them that you should change your mind. You have to say that if I'm the Lord of Magic, you have blessed and they have blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, Lord, let your, your light, let your faith shine upon everyone, oh God, in this meeting in the name of Jesus. Let their, your face shine upon their families. Let your face shine on by their children. And for them, we pray, may the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us, oh Lord, oh, from yes. now and forevermore, in oh, the yes. mighty name oh, of mighty Jesus, Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Surprise. Surprise. Wow. <laughs> We need, ah, we, need more, we need more sessions. We need more sessions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So probably we'll see um, on Monday. We'll see on Monday because tomorrow we are, uh, uh, one of our daughters is getting married. Glory. A wedding. Yeah. Wow. So Amen. all is well. All is Amen. well. Amen. All is Amen. well. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, a great woman of God has already prayed. There's nothing we can do. We can just say from us Amen. to her, shalom. 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 Good evening. Shalom. Good evening. Shalom. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Be more blessed. Thank you. Amen. Amen.